What's in here? You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. Okay. So, Daniel had a little bit of a memory. There's some sort of secret door mechanism in the local history room. Must find a new way to access this area. Well, here is what appears to be a moving bookcase. A draft and a faint light are coming from behind the shelf. There must be a way in. Well, I guess... Okay. Um, well, I'll take this book with me. Okay, and um, any other books that I need to pull? What's in here? Won't open. It's locked. Of course it is. So he said once it stops, you have to start over. Okay, so here's a book. I don't see any over here. Alright, so there's three books. Let's pull that one. Run over. Pull this one. And this one. There we go. Okay, here we are. Seems like a small room to hide behind a book a bookcase. Nothing there. That was some uh, nice music there. Let's light the fire. Okay, oh, a key. Wine cellar. What the fuck? Uh-uh, uh-uh. What's in here? A note. Wilhelm, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with our absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to, to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will f therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. Well, frick. So, he locked somebody down in the wine cellar. And I'm guessing I might encounter, like, maybe a zombie of this person, because this is a scary-ass game. Come on, book. You are a new book. Let's go. Okay, what's over here? that a note is this note for me can I break this maybe that night head that I used to get in here in the first place maybe that can break it I don't know if that note is for me but it could be we should see let's see here open there we go. Altstadt and Brennenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with the lore in an, is Altstadt. Deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenburg. The quiet, forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as it can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls might le have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. 
they move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragging behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Altstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight, as he looked for remnants of kingdom's past. During his stay, all, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many re records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron The Baron of Brennenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby, Altst at his castle nearby Altstadt. And like most of the and like most of those of noble birth, rumors of inherited rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late sixteenth century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhineland from the Rhinelands claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to the to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring have never been fully recorded. This fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. Okay, so this, uh, this Alexander, who, uh, we're apparently supposed to kill, he's immortal! Great! He's freaking immortal! That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Yeah! Anyway, now where do we go? This is caved in. I mean, there was a, there was a locked door over in here. And, um... It's open! Great! I didn't open that. Nobody's seen me open that. That's... That's crazy. That's just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Libri veteris. It won't budge. Okay. Now, um... I must get out of here. I must. Somehow, some way, I need to get out of here. Holy f... No! Oh my god! What the... What the fuck? What the hell? Mm, no. No, my god. That's not supposed to happen! That's not supposed to happen! Is he still there? God. Mr. Book, why? You. You protected me, actually. Oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> God. Just let me out. Let me out. Just let me out of here. Oh my god. That legit scared the fuck out of me. Oh my god. <laughs> the thing was walking around like it was nothing. It. <laughs> Ow! God damn it! What the hell was that? 
Sound like a jungle creature. <sighs> okay, so I guess we have to go to the wine cellar, the Celevi the Celevinaria. Okay, here we go. Celevinaria. Use the key on the door to unlock it. I don't want to. I guess that's where we gotta go, though. A handful of sand trickled from the crumbling stone ceiling and pushed down on the brim of his hat. He braced himself as the cavern suddenly shifted and settled. Beware, when standing in darkness, your sanity will slowly drain. Turn on lights in the environment, use tinder boxes, or search for other sources of light. <sighs> okay. God damn it. Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left us in a wine to last us a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, if an enemy is near... Is there an enemy near? Stay out of sight, hide in the darkness, make sure to turn off your lantern. God damn it, is there an enemy near? I dare him to fucking come at me. Ow. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> okay. I'm running out of tinder boxes. I need some tinder boxes. I think I'm out. Tinder box? Is that a tinder box? That's. What? The. F no. Get the. No. No. Walk the fuck away. Walk away. Walk away. Oh my god, no. Walk. Go away. I don't want any. I don't want any. Go. Go away. Please. Shit. Please go away. Please. Oh my god. Are you serious? Okay, the light will fix my sanity. Oh my god. Those things just fucking stalk you. What is going on here? The game. Okay. It froze for a second. That was weird. Oh my god. Take out my lantern. I actually put it away because that thing was over here. No tinderboxes left. Okay. So, you know, logic tells me to walk towards it for some reason, but good thing it's not here. How is my sanity? Dot, dot, dot. Okay, my health is all good though. Take out my lantern. I need that out. There's a tinder box. Give me the tinder box. Okay. Oh, look, another tinder box. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. God damn it, that fucking thing has appeared twice already. Okay. I seem to be back to normal now. There's another tinder box. Give me that. <sighs> My god. My god. This isn't right. This is not right. There's another tinder box. Give me. You'd think the light from the window would be enough, but no. It's still. Why am I playing this game? <laughs> Seriously. Give me the orpiment? The hell is that? A jar of orpiment. Yeah, that tells me a lot. It tells me exactly what it is. Oh god. Mmm. <laughs> What is this? It appears to be a map of the wine cellar. Mm hmm. 
What's in here? Anything? Anyone? If anyone's in here, just let me know and I'll leave you alone. What the fuck, dude? This needs to stop. 